Hi guys, this is Joe Magnani from AdSense Flipper. Today we're going to talk about site migration and how you can do that pretty quickly. The examples I'm going to use are from GoDaddy, but they pretty much apply to any hosting platform you may have. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is come over to our hosting manager in GoDaddy. And this is actually a, a pretty big time saver you may not know about, which is uh, you can log into your, your hosting manager directly by going to hostingmanager.pureserver.net instead of logging in directly through GoDaddy and having to go through all the menus. So that really uh, takes some time. Okay, so once you log into your host control manager, you see your account list. You can go ahead and, and click on whatever hosting account the particular uh, site is in that you're looking to migrate. Once you're in the hosting dashboard, you can go ahead and click databases and then my SQL. And this will take you to uh, the database area. Uh, as you can see, we have quite a number of databases in this account alone, um, over 410 uh, in this. Um, GoDaddy unfortunately doesn't give you a, 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 the search ability uh, to look for a particular database. You have to go through each page manually. Um, in this case, I'm just looking for AdSense flippers. Uh, as you can see in the beginning, well, you can't see it because I'm covering up the names, but um, in the beginning we didn't name our databases with a uh, naming convention that related them back to the site. And that can be very confusing uh, because uh, they just, GoDaddy just uses a random number uh, to go ahead and, and name the database. In the future, we, we got a little bit better and we started using um, better naming. So I'm going to go ahead and, and pause the video here, but basically what I have to do is have to go to every page here and look for AdSense flippers. And then once I find that, um, we'll go from there. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, gone ahead and I've found my AdSense Flippers um, database. So I'm going to go ahead and click the little edit icon here. And you know, sometimes the, the GoDaddy hosting control center can be a little, well, I hate to say it, but a little flaky. So uh, this button I've noticed sometimes needs to be double clicked or sometimes needs to be single clicked. And you just need to wait for the GoDaddy uh, control center to go ahead and catch up with you. Um, not sure why that happens. It seems to be a little bit of a bug on their end, but you may need to double click that edit icon in order to get into this field. Um, once you get here, there's a little very easy backup button. Press that button and go ahead and click OK. You can't change the file name or the location. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about transferring files later. Go ahead and click OK. We get a processing note. Just wait for it to give you a confirmation screen before doing anything else. And then you'll see your status as seems to pending backup. Uh, and you might want to keep this screen open so you can uh, you can uh, go ahead and see what the status is of your backup. Uh, backups tend to take two to four hours, though I have seen them done very quickly for for small niche sites. So uh, this one's a ad system big, so uh, it might take a little while longer. Okay, and that's it.